We are in the post show of uh, Home Gadget Geeks. We're here with Amber Gott from LastPass at LastPass.com. And Amber, I know you've got some home tech tips for us. So what do you have for us around LastPass? So my tips are all about password security and what you should be doing to, you know, better manage your passwords. But I'll say, you know, password security, encryption, you know, it sounds really um, cumbersome. But you know what? Ultimately, taking control of your passwords will simplify your life. And, and, and so, you know, these tips, really, you should think of it as um, they're going to be productivity boosts. They're going to be efficiency boosts for your day. Um, so my first tip is get started with the password manager. It's really easy. There's a lot of free options out there. Um, obviously, I recommend LastPass at LastPass.com. But what a password manager is going to do for you is it's going to centralize all of your online. You're going to have all your logins in one place, and then it's going to be able to log into all your sites for you. So you're no longer typing. You don't have to worry about forgotten passwords. And suddenly creating strong passwords becomes a lot easier. And that leads me to my second tip, which is you really should have a unique password for all of your online accounts. And you probably hear that all the time from security pros, from the media, um, but a password manager is what makes that possible. So with a password manager, because you have something else securely managing your passwords for you, you can have a generated unique password for all of your accounts and then not worry about forgetting it. You'll always have it when you need it when you use a password manager, you know, like LastPass. And then my third tip is use two-factor authentication, also known as multi-factor authentication. There are tons of options, and a lot of online services are supporting it now. It's really usable, um, and so we strongly recommend that you use it not only with your LastPass account, but with a lot of your other important online services. Um, services like PayPal, a lot of email services like Google, and um, and Outlook by Microsoft um, are now using two-factor authentication to help their customers better protect their accounts. So when you enable two-factor authentication for your online accounts, you're just entering a second piece of information as you're logging in. Um, so on top of the username and password that you're entering, you're also going to be entering another piece of information, maybe a code or uh, you know a fingerprint swipe something that identifies you um, beyond your username and password so that you can keep your account, account extra secure. So make sure you get started with a password manager. Use a separate password or a different password for all of your online accounts and start using two-factor authentication to better protect your online accounts and your online identity. And I promise you, if you do these three tips, not only will your, online, will your online security improve, but you actually will notice that you'll get to your things faster uh, with less typing, you'll, you'll be losing less time, and you'll definitely be reducing your frustration when it comes to passwords online. Thanks so much, guys. Very good, Amber. Thank you for, for again, Amber <laughs> Gott from uh, LastPass at LastPass.com. And Home Tech Tips are a feature of the Home Gadget Geek podcast, and all our tips can be found out at TheAverageGuy.tv.